Hello guys and welcome to my latest video, the rarest gold cards in Mortal Kombat X Mobile. This video is a research, very very wide research that I spent a lot of time on, me and the administrator of the site CoinsEasy.tk. He did a tremendous input into this research because he shared his stats, uh, due to his job he's opening a lot of combat packs all the day so he has pretty good idea what cards you can get from it and he uh, shared these statistics with me and together with him we were able to determine which cards are the rarest and which cards are the most common cards that you can get from combat packs there are, there are 27 general gold characters and we divided, uh, divided them into 9 groups each uh, of 3 characters with uh, kinda the same probability of being found in the combat pack. So let's see which characters are the most common, which you have the highest probability to, to find in the combat pack. So 9th place and 9th group is Demolition Sonya Blade, Mournful Kitana and Blood God Kotal Ken. Well, I think no surprises here, Demolition Sonya Blade is a total leader. She is extremely common, very common. It's like every fifth card we were taking was Demolition Sonya Blade. Well, maybe not that common, but trust me, she she was the first one to max out all the times, and all the times there were a lot of her cards when when we were opening combat packs. So she is officially the most common card you can find in a combat pack. The next place is shared between Mournful Kitana and Blood God Kotal Ken. Those are pretty common, those are very common. Those are most likely to be maxed out after Demolition Sonya Blade. But you have to take into account the luck factor. For some, some people can take the rarest card from the first try, some, some can take uh, the most common card on the last uh, last try. It doesn't mean that those are the cards you will be getting, it just means that we opened a lot of combat packs and gathered all the statistics and those cards tend to be the most common. So let's go to the place number 8. On the 8th place we have Spectral Yermak, Shaolin Kunjin and Hattrick Kung Lao. Well, Hattrick Kung Lao is pretty good character he has uh, the buff, I mean he has uh, passive ability, I don't know how it's called, well he hits the opponent on tag in, not a lot of characters do that, so this is pretty cool and he is pretty high in the table of characters, so someone could assume that he is pretty rare, but he is not, he is on the 8th place, he is very common card, as long as, as well as Spectral Yermak and Shaolin Kunjin. Those are pretty good. Shaolin Kunjin can give you all the martial artists one bar of power. So he's pretty good too, I love him. And this is good that he's pretty common. Okay, let's go to the place number 7. Possessed Kenshi. Can you imagine Possessed Kenshi? One, not one, it's the most expensive card in the store. And this card is on the 7th place. He's not rare as he's supposed to be. He's absolutely not rare. It was a surprise for me too, but I saw it with my own eyes. I was opening a lot of combat packs for my $2,000 spending spree and uh, in other projects, and uh, admin of coins easy was doing that as well, and he confirmed it. Possessed Kenshi is not rare. He is standing on the 7th place with Ninjutsu Scorpion and Swarm Wind Dwarah which I, I'm, I'm sure you agree are very common, but Possessed Kenshi is as common as those two cards. If you don't agree, you can just post a comment and we'll discuss it. And maybe you are not, not agreeing with other characters I placed on which place, so just let me know. But trust me, thousands of combat packs were opened and this is the most the, the biggest research, I'm, I'm sure the biggest research anyone has ever done in Mortal Kombat and this data is valid, it's, it's checked on thousands of combat packs, on, on hundreds of devices 
I mean, not devices, but accounts. So this this that data is valid. Let's go to the sixth place. Balance Kenshi is just a slightly more common. I'm sorry, more rare than than possessed Kenshi, as well as cover ops Kesi Cage and Bujitsu Kunjin. Bujitsu Kunjin is pretty good. He can uh, gain attack. Uh, he can he can gain power by blocking the attacks of the opponent, and this is pretty cool. He he is building up the power pretty great, and I love his special one. Cover ops Kesi Cage is amazing. She's one of my most favorite characters, and this is good that she is not that rare, so you have a pretty good chance to get her from the combat pack. So let's see what else we have balanced Kenshi, he's pretty good too. He gives all the spec ops uh, teammates one bar of power, so it's good that such great characters are not in the rarest part of this video. Let's go to the place number 5. Stun Double Johnny Cage, Grandmaster Sub-Zero and Tactical Sonya Blade. Well, I think no surprises here. Those characters are pretty rare. They're on the 5th place. Stun Double Johnny Cage is... I, I haven't been playing with him too much because I didn't have luck to get him on any of my accounts. Except the one that I was maxing out all the characters, but I didn't have a good chance to play with him. I think, if I'm not mistaken, this guy can. This guy also attacks you on tech in, but it may be a list. I'm not sure. One of the Johnny Cages attacks you. So Grandmaster Sub Zero is great. He he leaves the ice decoy uh, when he dies, and then he's like Jason Voorhees. He comes to life second time with 25% of health, which is pretty great. And Tactical Sonya Blade is just Tactical Sonya Blade. She's rare, but I don't think she's really special. She's a decent card, nothing more. And we are in the first half. We're now seeing the, the rarest characters. And the fourth place are Noxious Reptile, Shaolin Master Kun Lao and Inferno Scorpion. The second exclusive character, Shaolin Master Kun Lao, is on the fourth place. He's a little more rare than cover ops Casey Cage, but he's still not rare enough to get to the second or the first place. Noxious Reptile Reptile is really rare character in Mortal Kombat. I was surprised because uh, I it, it's really hard to find any reptile, neither nimble nimble or noxious reptile, and I love reptile because it's so fast, especially Nimble Reptile, it's probably the fastest character in the game. And after you use your special 2, he becomes like becomes extremely fast. He is attacking, he doesn't give a chance to attack back. He's he's pretty good, the reptile. Shaolin Master Kun Lao is great if you have a lot of bronze cards and you want to use them with four times all the stats they have. And Inferno Scorpion, a little bit uh, less common than Grandmaster Sub-Zero as research shows and he's amazing, he gains 200% attack when he tags in and this is just awesome character. Let's go to the first three places, nine rarest characters and on the third place we have Ailey's Johnny Cage, Venomous Dvora and Assassin Kitana. Yes, Assassin Kitana is on the third place, not first, not second. She proved to be not the rarest character, as a lot of people may assume. Not, not she, not Quan Chi. Didn't make it to the first place, but you, you'll find out soon enough who made it. So, Ailey is Johnny Cage, we already talked about him a little, Venomous Dvora. Well, we had already uh, Swarm Queen Dvora, she's a very common character, but Venomous Dvora is a little more rare, well not a little, she's on the third place, so she's pretty rare and uh, the only difference from the Swarm Queen is that she has poison to every special attack so this is pretty good, poison is good and Assassin Kitana, she stabs you viciously on the tag in and it gains you a lot of power so it's not, it's not the stabbing that makes her so great, it's like when she steps, he gains almost half of the bar of power while stabbing. And opponent bleeds after that, so it's like 3 in 1. She reduces the health of the opponent, 
she strikes him with a bleeding debuff and she gains a lot of power by stabbing. This is like win-win, this is amazing. Kitana rules, but she's on the third place. And let's find out who's on the second place. Sun God, Cattle Ken, Master of Souls, Yermak and Warlock Quan Chi. Yes, Quan Chi, just like in the table, the rarest character, the most the last character in the table and he proved to be the rarest character. We had a lot of thoughts about if to change places with Assassin Kitana, but Warlock Quan Chi tend to be a little more rare than Assassin Kitana and he's amazing. He gives he gives another it's he's like Jason Voorhees and like Grandmaster Sub Zero, he gives some other teammate who dies ability to come back from dead with 25% of health and this is amazing. Master of Souls here mark. I'm sure you saw a lot of Master of Souls here marks in the faction wars starting with X-Ray. How they do that? It's easy. You just you Master of Souls here mark gains one bar of power for each outworld teammate. So uh, if you have an outworld team with Master of Souls here mark, he'll gain two bars of power automatically. After that just add Rest Hammer to his equipment and you have X-Ray on the start of the game. This is amazing. This is the only character that is possible to make to start with, uh, with uh, X-Ray attack. And Sun God Kotal Kain, I don't know what's so special about him, but, he's, but he tends to be pretty rare. I like his special too. It's, it's pretty graphic. It's, it's very long special too, probably the longest. How he melts the face with the sun energy or something like that, and then tries to rip apart the opponent. But it's it's pretty cool. I like watching it, and it's pretty effective. But still, I don't I don't know why he's on the second place. He, it's it's really he's out of the league, comparing to Master of Souls here, Mark and Quan Chi. And the moment of truth. Who is on the first place? I'm sure you already could figure that out. You could just uh, think of the characters I haven't named yet. And here we go. First place and the leader. Absolute leader. The most, the rarest card you can get from the combat pack. It's official. It was proven a lot of times. It's Creo Master Sub Zero. It's not most expensive card. It's not the coolest card, but he's the rarest card. Never I was able to find him from the combat pack. And never. Coins Easy Admin was able to find him from the combat pack. And we opened a lot of packs. I find him only once. No, I find him twice when I was maxing out all my characters. He was the only one with level 1 elite when all the other characters already were maxed out. He's extremely rare. Sometimes I even wonder maybe they forgot to include him in the combat pack, but. It's just, it's just so rare. I, I don't even remember if I got it from Combat Pack or I had to buy them from store. But Admin of Coins Easy was shocked. He never, never saw him coming out on the Combat Pack. But I'm pretty sure it's possible because, uh, well, he is not exclusive, so he has to be in the Combat Pack. But he is so rare that almost never you can find him there. Nimble Reptile made it to the first place. And this is amazing characters, he's fast, he's one of the fastest characters. He has poison in his attacks, and his second attack gives him speed. This is awesome character. And Commando Kano, can you imagine one of the cheapest characters made it to the first place? He's extremely rare. It's very hard to find him in the combat pack. And I don't know why, because nothing special about him. Kano is like one of the Kanos you can buy with coins and this Kano really sucks but this one may be a little bit better but he doesn't I think it doesn't deserve the first place but he's here because he is extremely rare and you are very lucky well it's questionable you are lucky to get all of these characters that means that you got one of the rarest characters but it doesn't mean you get one of the best characters so if you get one of these characters you may be lucky because uh, because they are rare but it doesn't mean that you got best cards I think for me best characters are Silver Kenshi, Cover Ops Cassie Cage 
Aaron Black, but you cannot get him from combat pack. Aaron Black's special 2 is just killing every character. Just If you score 80% or more accuracy, his special 2 can destroy anyone. It's, he's amazing. Also, I like Kovar Sonia, but she is so annoying when someone else is playing against you. You have to to break this shield every for every character. This is just a little annoying. But still, I love her. I love her special too. This this shooting and power draining. Well, so guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you liked this experiment, and I would really appreciate all your comments in the comment section. I want to know what you think about it, if you agree with my table, if you disagree with all this ranking, I want to know what you think. If you haven't subscribed yet, it would be very nice if you did now. I'd like to see you in the my subscribers list and I promise to deliver the best videos and I'm thinking about what kind of experiment, what kind of project, uh, like research to conduct next. And I'm open to suggestions, so comment section. I'll read every each comment, and if you have any suggestions for the next project, just let me know. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next video. Have a wonderful day.